In this video, we will learn about the apparent weight of a man in an elevator or in a lift and about conservation of linear momentum. Consider a man of mass M standing on a weighing machine placed in a lift. The actual weight of the man is mg and it acts vertically downward through the center of gravity g of the man. It acts on weighing machine which offers reaction R. The weighing machine reads the reaction R which is force experienced by the man. So R is the apparent weight of the man. Now consider the case when the lift moves upward with acceleration A as shown. The net upward force on the man will be R minus mg equals to ma. Therefore, the apparent weight R will be equals to mg plus ma. That means when the lift accelerates upward, the apparent weight of the man inside it increases. But when the lift moves in upward direction with constant velocity, then the acceleration will be zero and R will be equals to mg. Now consider when the lift moves downwards with acceleration A. Then the net downward force on the man will be mg minus R equals to ma. That means now the apparent weight R will be equals to mg minus ma and in case of constant velocity A will be 0 and R will be equal to m into g. When no acceleration means when the lift is at rest or moving with uniform velocity v either downward or upward, then the acceleration will be zero and the net force on the man will be R minus mg equals to zero means R is equals to mg. And when the lift falls freely means, let us suppose if the supporting cable of the lift breaks, the lift fall freely under gravity that means with acceleration equals to acceleration due to gravity and the net downward force on the man will be r equals to m into g minus g that means r or you can say w is equals to zero that means the apparent weight of the man becomes zero because both the man and lift are moving downward with the same acceleration, acceleration due to gravity. And so there are no forces of action and reaction between the man and the lift. Hence, a person develops a feeling of weightlessness when he falls under gravity because at that time the weight will be zero. Now law of conservation of linear momentum. When no external force acts on a system of several interacting particles, the total linear momentum of the system is conserved. And the total linear momentum is the vector sum of linear momenta of all the particles of the system. Mathematically, if f external is zero, then the summation of pi where i stands from 1 to n 
is constant or you can simply write P is constant. It's proof by using Newton's second law we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration by putting the value of acceleration in terms of dv by dt you got d by dt of mass into velocity and mass into velocity is p the momentum so f is equal to dp by dt and if f is zero means dp by dt is zero that means P is constant because the differentiation of constant is zero. That if P is constant means initial momentum is equals to final momentum. Hence, in the absence of any external force, the total linear momentum of the system is constant. And this is the law of conservation of linear momentum. Now, let's prove the conservation of linear momentum using Newton's third law. Consider two bodies of masses E and B with initial momenta PA and PB. The bodies collide and get apart with final momenta P-A and P-B respectively. Then by second Force into time will be the change in momentum by using F is equal to dp by dt. And similarly, F B A into delta T means the force on B due to A into the time of collision will give you the PB dash minus PB change in momentum final minus initial. You know by Newton's third law, the force on A due to B is the minus of force on B due to A. So by putting the values of FAB and FBA from the above equations, you got P dash A minus P A equals to minus of P B dash minus P B means P A dash plus P B dash is equals to P A plus P B. And here the left side denotes the final momentum of the system and the right side denotes the initial momentum. That means the final momentum of the isolated system equals its initial momentum. Applications, requiring of gun, you know that when a bullet of mass MB is fired with velocity VB, the gun of mass MG will acquire a velocity of VG in the backward direction and it is denoted by mathematically with a negative sign. Exploding of bomb. A bomb which was originally at rest explodes and sharpness flies every which way each piece with a different mass and speed. The momentum vectors are shown in the after picture. Since the momentum of the bomb was zero before explosion so it must be zero after it as well and see in the diagram if all the momentum directions are denoted vectorically and you can see that it forms a cyclic order. That means the final momentum is also zero. And this proves the conservation of linear momentum.